Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. One of the most successful youth makerspace models out there today is Digital Harbor Foundation in Baltimore, Maryland. They offer flexibly priced programming, including maker camps for young people, STEM classes, family make nights, and even professional development programs to teach teachers 3D printing. No one is turned away based on what they can pay, and former youth member Darius McCoy is a shining example of what's possible when you present the right opportunity to the right kid. Before DHF, that's what we're calling Digital Harbor Foundation from now on, so stay with me. Before DHF, Darius didn't hang out with people outside of his neighborhood, which was kind of rough. So having a place to go and interact with different types of people and even be mentored was huge for his motivation. He started with DHF summer camps at only 16, and when he showed a real knack for working with 3D printers, he was asked to build a Printerbot Junior 3D printer kit. He was hooked. Eight weeks later, he was offered a summer job working with 3D printing for the elementary and middle school programs. Darius started attending fundraising events and mini maker fairs, including the one at the White House in 2014, where he met Barack Obama and spoke about 3D printing. At this time, Darius was starting his own business, 3D printing iPhone cases. It was his first business venture and it wasn't that successful, but he learned a lot about entrepreneurship and how to use 3D printers more effectively. After high school graduation, Darius was offered a job starting 3D Assistance, a repair service for the printer bots used at DHF to teach educators about 3D printing. Managed by two high school students, 3D Assistance morphed into a service bureau printing orders for the community, and Darius was asked to manage it. Their first service bureau project was to print 2,000, 2,000 braille rings for the University of Maryland Baltimore County's 50th anniversary. They made both child and adult sizes and included the phrase true grit in braille. The job took six weeks for three employees to complete on four different desktop printers. One of Darius' favorite projects was working with a physical therapist at UMBC to make 3D printed assistive devices for patients. First they were printing prototypes, and now they're solving real world problems with patients testing their models. There's a link below to check out Digital Harbor Foundation for information on their programming and to support their efforts in developing young people, like Darius, into passionate makers who will lead the next generation of innovation. Do you have an awesome 3D printing resource in your town? Leave me a comment, I'd love to check it out. I'm Mara, and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. Go be awesome. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.